Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. PowerPoint lets you package presentations for distribution on writable CDs, DVDs, or USB drives for users who may not have easy online access to delivered presentations. This lets users who have a computer with a drive that can play one of these types of media view the presentations. It also lets you include any linked or embedded files in the resultant presentation file you send, so they can easily see the content you choose to include. While you can use this process to publish a presentation directly to a CD, it also lets you publish the presentation to a file. Assuming the recipient has a device that can read the file on the media you give them, you can later copy the created file to distribute it using any media you want. To package a PowerPoint presentation to a file, first insert or connect the desired media to your computer to which to write the presentation, if needed. Then open the first presentation to package in PowerPoint. Then click the File tab in the ribbon to show the backstage view of the file. Then select the Export command at the left side of the backstage view. Then click the Package Presentation for CD command in the Export pane to the right to show the Package Presentation for CD pane to the right of the Export pane. Then click the Package for CD button in this pane to open the Package for CD dialog box. In the Package for CD dialog box, type the name for the CD or the folder into which to copy the presentations, depending on your desired distribution method, into the Name the CD field. The selected presentation should then appear in the Files to be copied list. To add more presentations if needed, Click the Add button at the right side of the dialog box to open an Add Files dialog box, which you can use to navigate to and then select the presentation to add. Then click the Add button in the Add Files dialog box to add it to the Files to be copied list. The presentations play in the order they appear within the Files to be copied list. To change their order, click to select one to move in the Files to be copied list. Then click the up and down arrows to the left of the list to move the selected file up or down in this list. To remove a presentation from this list, click it to select it. Then click the Remove button to the right of the list. To set the options for the packaged presentations, click the Options button to the right of the Files to be copied list to open the Options dialog box. To include linked files and true type fonts, ensure the linked files and embed true type fonts checkboxes remain checked. Optionally, to enter a password the user must enter to play each presentation, type it into the password to open each presentation field. Optionally, to enter a password the user must enter to edit each presentation, type it into the password to modify each presentation field. To inspect the presentations for inappropriate or private information, check the Inspect Presentation for Inappropriate or Private Information checkbox. Then click the OK button to apply the options. To then package the presentations directly to your CD drive if available, click the Copy to CD button in the Package for CD dialog box. If you included linked files, a message box will appear to warn you to ensure they are safe to include. If they are, click Yes to continue and include them in the CD. PowerPoint will then prompt your operating system to finish burning the presentation files to disk. Alternatively, to save the presentation files to a folder on your computer, like a USB drive, instead click the Copy to Folder button in the Package for CD dialog box to open the Copy to Folder dialog box. In this dialog box, click the Browse button to open a Choose Location dialog box. Use this dialog box to select the folder into which to copy the Presentations folder, which will have the name shown in the Folder Name field at the top of the Copy to Folder dialog box. This is where you would select the USB drive or one of its subfolders if distributing via USB. If saving it to a computer or network folder, Simply select the folder where you want to create the folder that you will later copy to your desired media for distribution to viewers. After selecting the desired folder, 
Then click the Select button in the Choose Location dialog box to return to the Copy to Folder dialog box. To show the files in your computer's file explorer after copying them, check the Open Folder When Complete checkbox. Then click the OK button in the Copy to Folder dialog box to copy the files to the selected folder location. If you included linked files, a message box will appear to warn you to ensure they are safe to include. If they are, click Yes to continue and include them in the folder. PowerPoint will then finish copying the files into the desired folder. If needed, you can then burn or copy the folder and or its contents onto the desired media for distribution. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.